No, I don't want to load. Sally. Hello, everyone. I'm the one with many voices, and uh, we have a little bit of a uh, frost snap over here. <laughs> Welcome back to Banished, Voistopia. But in the last episode, we had a bit of a fire over here in the northwest, leveling quite a bit of important stuff. But luckily, we're quick to uh, climb back. As well as the fact that we started to upgrade some of the houses into stone and build a few new stone houses. Also plenty of trading going on, a couple more fishing docks here and there, a couple more regular stone houses. And well, it's just going to be a little bit more of the same. More stone houses. Look at the firewood. We were... <coughs> I, I can show it to you. Uh, where are we? Here you are. And grass, uh, please over here. We'll sort that out in a second. So, uh, firewood, low, 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 constantly low, constantly low. Little dips here and there, and suddenly once I started buying again, well over three thousand. This also, this massive spike, is also because I built a few more woodcutters. But we're going to start out with yet another trading outpost. Um, we'll do 1000 venison and 100 iron tools for 3800. Let's see. We've got 1000 squash, 1000 chestnuts, 1000 pumpkins. And 1,800 corn. Right, not 8,000, 800. I'm just gonna buy food uh, for now because of the uh, massive fire we had earlier. Uh, I could technically do that. Switch over to iron tools here as well. Sure. Am I recording? Aye. So this is episode 4, <coughs> and with the 3 hour time skip that I was forced to do, uh, this was originally supposed to be episode 7, I believe, because I had 3 episodes recorded that I had to scrap because I didn't have sound, like a dumbass. But now I'm paying close attention to make sure that I'm in fact recorded. So... I've got plenty of coats. Our tools are doing fine. Well, let's see how much venison we have. Firewood, fish, wood hold, arms, plenty of arms. Can't seem to find venison. Wood hold. Mushroom wood hold. 13. And beef. Ah, we're also starting to produce beef. Beef comes uh, from your cows, your cattle. And what I want to do, uh, relatively soon, is make another quadrant uh, for uh, pastures, all three of them. And I was thinking on doing that maybe over here. Let's see. If I were to put a pasture at the edge of here. Last year. Somewhere here. 20. Uh, 20. One in between. 20 by 20. Between. 
20 by 20. That would result in... Here. Then... This road... We'll go like that. And in between... Around. Like so. Like so. And like so. All right, I think that'll uh, work. In the meantime, four by fifteen, one in between, four by fifteen, one in between. What by fifteen? We've got Nomads, once again, Nomads are a definite no-go in this playthrough. We've got Coal and Logs, so we'll trade 666 Iron Tools for... So that will be this. Oh, <coughs> oopsie. So I'm creating a few more pastures because our ill production is lacking a little bit. I can do this better, so I play it this and this, and then instead, since I know that this ends here. I think like this, if I'm not mistaken, I can put a orchard precisely not like that. So we'll try it again. This is the top. One, two, three, four. One there. And then. So it will not be perfectly nice, but I'll have to do for now. And then on top of that, what I'll do... Is do a brewer, a tavern... Uh, over here. And then add... Okay, 
we'll move it all for the one. Got that, 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 that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will be wheat. Nine by eight. Wheat is the least important uh, crop in my eyes, so I can always do a little less on wheat than anything else. So that'll be that. And then the brewer next to it. Brewer. And <coughs> storage bar. Right next to that. And again, I close this. Because I'm still that dumbass that closes that on a constant basis. So this allows me to expand over here. A couple more houses. Expa allows me to expand over here. I want stone houses from now on. So, we've got pumpkin, squash, cabbage, corn, and pepper. That'll be potato, wheat, and bean. <coughs> I know, and I'm a nine bean field. Shame on me, but whatever. Now look at this. Do one thousand of this. Uh, one thousand fish. One thousand walnuts. And one thousand corn. And lastly, five hundred beans. Plenty of trading goods. Now, where could I possibly? How about here? On the edge of the forest? Connecting this road or that road? On this side of the mountain. So, this one will start uh, producing apples, apple ale. There will be beans. So, this area is now producing one of each crop. Thirty-three, thirty-four. Thirty four. Um, nope, nope. What other farms does don't have it? One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, aye, <coughs> sixteen, seventeen. 
29. I count 29. For some odd reason. Probably missing a, a, an orchard or two. I've got them close together. You're the plum. One, two, three, four. Oh, there, there, there. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four. Uh, five, twenty-five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, thirty-four. Uh, where was that little wheat field that I had over here? Was this the wheat? No. I had a wheat field over here, I believe. Somewhere. Ah, yeah. 34. So I was in fact miscounting. Okay. Uh, well, this is also prime real estate for a mine, I believe. This side of the mountain, at least. Uh, I'll just place one over here for now and keep it paused. So, Apple. Apple. Another trader with wool coats and leather. I think for now I'm fine, as is. We're making iron tools. However, I'm gonna switch you over to coal, uh, to steel tools because I've got plenty of coal in this little stockpile. There's still plenty of iron over here, so this guy's gonna be uh, supplied with plenty for a while. Boats. Textiles is plenty. So you'll be apple seeds as well. Another one. You're going to be producing apple eel. Now that is a bit of steel over here still. So I should not have Two more houses. Both my little street. You're gonna do sheep with two, and we'll split this one up and that one up. Just as we uh, have more sheep arriving, <laughs> don't need them. Well, let's look at the uh, cattle 
farther. As you can see, it produces leather and beef. Chicken and eggs. And wood and wool. real estate for a, a line. Why can't I place it here? It, uh, literally one piece of See how picky the mine can be in terms of placement? Uh, stone cutter was crushed by a rock. Dwayne Johnson, please calm down. Okay? No need more people getting crushed by you. Sorry. Place a mine over here. And have this one produce coal. However, it can't be reached by a regular path. It's all old. I'll have a look at you later down the line. More seeds? No, thank you. Back to placing mines. Well, this doesn't work because of that one particular piece of road. I can't place it back one further. So that's a no. This won't have worked. This is all kinds of wrong. This doesn't work. That doesn't work. Or this. Okay, uh, so we've got another pasture. We'll do chickens. Two more. Uh, split our chicken pasture. Stone house over here. Aye. What? Literally, a stone house. But we can't place more houses over here, though. Four. Six. We'll lose six houses. For now, how many do we need still? Plenty. So here we are. What do you bring? Seeds. Useless. Goodbye. Now you're going to be producing cattle. Split. There we go. More production of stuff. You are producing steel tools. You are producing steel tools. Right, you are still producing iron tools.
oh that's because you're producing iron you were supposed to be, be producing coal so you start producing steel tools as well we'll do 450 just to ensure that we'll never run out of tools as for here another tire of tools do a thousand and a thousand just to get rid of all of the stock of iron tools we don't need them anymore now look at the amount of firewood this is wonderful Plums, apples, there's still plenty of stuff still left on the map to collect. So how about I start doing that right now, in terms of stone and iron. Just a wee bit of iron still there. More traders. More seeds that I don't need. So now that I've got, uh, well, almost, uh, chestnuts, walnuts, and pecan, I still need cherry ale. And I think I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll produce some cherry ale on top of it. Four by fifteen. Four by fifteen. Four by fifteen. Get the roads. <coughs> Cherry and Cherry and then one more brewer just for the hell of it. Does it fit here because of the mine? But it will fit over here. So cherry and ch cherry and I do believe that from now on I will be producing every crop and every uh, fruit from the orchards and nuts as well. Still it never hurts to buy as much food as you can. Uh, let's see, we'll do 1000 cabbage, 1000 walnuts, 1000 beans, 1000 peppers, 1000 fish, 1000 pecan, and sure, 60 wheat. And the rest of the uh, stuff that he had was all. Uh, Brewing material, including the wheat. I said that I was gonna look something up, so forgive me. I'm gonna look something up. Uh, herbalist. Uh -huh.
All right, so this is exactly what I thought uh, was the case in terms of Herbalist. When a villager has low health, they will attempt to visit the Herbalist. They will attempt to go get a herb from the stockpile. And if one is present, they will take it to a Herbalist hut. If there is a Herbalist staff, then the villager will have their health increased. So, having Herbalists inside of your forestry hopes to gather herbs is a properly good idea. However, it also seems that having a Herbalist near your village is an even better idea. So, uh, I've got a Herbalist over there. I don't have one here, so I'll place the Herbalist over here, so that these people can get uh, healthy. And I'll place a Herbalist there. And just to be sure... Place it somewhere nearby. Preferably here. It's sad that this little hill is here. It's so in the way. Ah, these people can go to the Arbalist, sure. There's a herbalist over here as well, so that'll be fine. As you now understand, herbalists... Wait, what? We're at 5,000 fuel, fuel limit? Ah, so the fuel limit also seems to take into account the coal. So... That's the thing. So herbalists serve two functions, not just gathering the herbs themselves, but also healing your uh, citizens. And hospitals are there mostly if you, your villagers contract the disease. Look at this. This pasture is full already. And this one too, pretty much. The miner was killed by a cave-in. I could demolish these two. Wait, what? Why are you three homeless? They're a laborer. 51. Let's just build another stone house here. Fill in some space. Also, sorry for this, but I need to switch back to OBS. Keep my eye on the time. It's possible that these three will freeze, especially you. I've got another trader coming in. <laughs> 1500 venison. 119. Perfect. We'll do uh, 1,000 chest notes, 1,000 roots, 1,000 corn, 1,000 onions, 100 mushroom, 1,000 pear, and we'll do 250 or 352 potato. Where's the storage barn? Where's the market? Here's the storage barn. Well, I hope you, you pick your place to live. Ah. 
So it seems that you're gonna die of starvation. For some odd reason, the game cannot fathom. Or perhaps that's something I can fix. A little bridge here. Aye. Well, the bridge is now... Uh, I'm gonna keep the bridge. Because this is the second time that somebody walked behind here and was not able to get back. So I'll keep the bridge. And better yet... I'll even put a house here. The road like this, just to ensure that the person, if another person gets stuck here, he'll be able to escape. Now that's just a uh, dumb assery uh, on behalf of the game, because I've had this before, actually, that a person was stuck here, and just as I had the uh, the uh, destroyed this house, this particular house, suddenly this person yoinked it over past this field behind the brewery over to here. And I thought to myself, what? So, yeah. Aye. Aye. So, you're gonna be producing cherry ale. And that just leaves us with wheat ale. And that's something I'm not gonna be producing. We're gonna have apple orchards. Probably at the end of the season. Apple ale. So what do you have? Leather, warm cold, stone, firewood, coal, bogs. Uh, I'll still trade. Uh, What is it that I need most? I'll do the 200 logs. stone, need 500 units more to trade. Twenty-five. Okay, that's Perfect. Alright. So this is now producing coal, this is producing iron for the blacksmith. I possibly do right now. Firewood. I'll say 10,000. And there's an infestation. A pasture. Is it that I can't do that? Work. Aye. That's why. That's a quick little trick to uh, get rid of a uh, infestation in a pasture. Demolish it, wait until the yellow clouds go away, and then cancel the demolishment. That's probably something you could do for the uh, crop fields and orchards as well. got 240 adults. So we definitely have need of a second chapel, which I have, of course. Now let's have a look. 
100% educated. 239 adults. Let's have a look at one of the achievements. Educated. Have a fully uh, educated population with 200 adults for 4 years. I think we've passed that. Especially since I've had plenty of schools already. And especially since I didn't take in any uh, nomads. I think we've passed this. We've also reached the, the settlement. Because I have over 300 citizens. And it does take uh, children and students into account. Uh, we're working towards the stylish and the blacksmith. Uh, not everyone is clothed for some reason. I don't know why. Because I've got plenty of warm coats uh, in storage. And also I've started to produce nothing but uh, steel tools. So that should eventually be done. Of course, since early on I built a... Uh, <clears throat> a training post isolationist would be off the table because I'm using crop fields and orchards and pastures right off the bat what with nature is out of uh, is uh, not doable uneducated because I've got schools right at the start is undoable mountain men requires a different uh, playthrough altogether if you're interested in seeing that then let me know and perhaps if I for some odd reason manage to get tenor before the end of the year I might do a uh, mountain and playthrough for you I have to know that you're interested in that despite the fact that I've already uh, had that now, I'm well on my way with uh, built from stone to have a hundred stone houses uh, I will continue to upgrade houses uh, throughout the episodes now immigrants definitely not gonna get that because I'm not using nomads at all and highwaymen is something I'll get to once I get there. And in the meantime, the smelter, the stonework, and the lumberjack. Uh, we're not even at year 100, so plenty of that. I also saw something foody. Uh, food variety, we already have that. Uh, lumberjack, here foody. In a single year, produce at least 2,000 food for each hunter's. Gatherers, fishers, pastures, fields, and orchards. Now, this achievement requires you to have orchards, fields, and pastures. Not just hunters, gatherers, and fishermen. So, if you're going for the isolationist playthrough, then you're not going to be able to do foodie. At least until you reach the 300 citizens required for uh, isolationist. Because you can only get pastures... Uh, well, you can build them but you can't have any animals inside of them unless you have animals which you only get through trading posts so there's a little bit of a challenge here and there that makes this game interesting enough to warrant several playthroughs it seems that we've got plenty of tools still uh, oh just as I selected this, we've got another trader coming in. You've got stone, logs, firewood, and leather. But you do not accept. So we'll do 119 stone. And this business. And for now, our tool situation seems good. But I'm not gonna put in steel tools just yet. Because now we're producing nothing but steel tools. Despite the fact that we have... Oh, actually we do have plenty of tools. So... Where are you, steel tools? 300? And then... Hopefully this will work, that it gets it sorted right away. The trade will start to get to work. 10. Hopefully they will. How about I increase the venison to 
3,000 on both of the training blocks. I think I should be able to do that. 3,000. Reserve of food is low. Now this actually means that despite the fact that I have plenty of food in storage right now, that through this winter, I'll lose a lot of food. And that's probably because I just started to load up the trading post with more venison. So in that regard, one fisher, two fisher, three fisher, four fisher, five, uh, six, seven. Steel tools is gonna waver for a moment, but that'll be fine. Now let's see what you have. Sheep and cattle. Don't need it. Well, we've survived through the winter, and despite the uh, fact that the game said our reserve of food was low, we still have 45,000. I don't think I have to worry. Have that built. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at all the children being born this uh, this season. Five. Hopefully, our population is booming once again. Yeah, okay, I built a storehouse. One, two. Right here, just because. Uh, let's see. So you're still out of stuff. Well, I'm thinking of doing. Uh, this may be a little strange, despite the fact that I have plenty of tools. That I'm producing nothing but steel tools at the moment. Is that I still want to have a few blacksmiths? Producing iron tools. Purely for my trading box. Now is the question, where can I put them? Without interfering into other spa uh, spaces. Here. Place one here, uh, here, and there. We'll have three uh, blacksmiths produce uh, iron tools for us because it seems that I've got no more iron tools in storage, which technically is good. But I do hope that the game. Uh, coding is such that uh, iron tools will be used after steel tools are out. So if people run out of steel tools and there are no steel tools left in storage, is that people will start using iron tools only then and not before. We're almost with, done with that. Also, since I'm producing nothing but leather coats, I'm gonna do 1000 hide coats. 
in this training dock just to get rid of any excess stock that I have. Alright, so pay attention. Right now I've got stored in this particular training dock 500 ale, 200 warm coats and 300 steel tools. And I do that to show you that that is what you need for the exports achievement. Stock the training post with at least 500 ale, 300 steel tools and 200 warm coats. Now what you can do... Uh, and I talked about this either in the very first episode or sadly during one of the uh, scrapped episodes is that you could uh, set your storage for your training post to those numbers while not producing them because it turns out that the training dock takes precedence over the market and the market takes precedence over the uh, storage bands in terms of priority where stuff is getting stored. However, what you can do is start purchasing the steel tools, the warm coats and the ale until you reach the numbers required for this particular achievement. This means that your stuff will not go back into the village but remain in your training post. Only once you pass the uh, required numbers then they will go into the uh, the axis will go back into the st uh, into the village. So this is a kind of a cheesy way to do this particular achievement. Now of course I've been producing nothing but steel tools and ale and warm coats, so there's no real problem with that. As a matter of fact, I've been producing ale quite a bit. So I do one thousand. But I don't need any more steel tools in here. Uh, warm coats. 250. And you'll do 250 as well. So there are ways to cheese certain uh, achievements in the game, if you know how. So... You don't have enough pom to produce the ale. And apples or uh, cherries haven't grown yet. Because this is a different orchard. Now because I sent all of the steel tools back into the village. You're going to be producing iron tools, and I think if I find the blacksmiths, I don't have enough just yet. Because the others aren't built. But this is just to get rid of access, uh, access of uh, iron. And also to stock the training at toast with iron tools for trade. As you can see, we're currently in autumn of year 45. And this is episode... Uh, 4, well technically 7. Now we'll do 200... Uh, 1000... Almost 1,000. Sorry that I stopped in the middle of uh, what I wanted to say, but uh, I'm planning to do this game uh, throughout the entire year. 500. attempt to keep this entire series, uh, this village, going for an entire year, because it is my goal to get the tenor achievement, which is going to be taking uh, 200 in-game years, as I'll show you. 
it's the final achievement that I still need. 200 years in game. And I'll take around uh, 44 hours or so. But even if that playthrough is successful and I'll get the 10 out achievement, I'll probably just continue uh, to keep things going because it's enjoyable. It's a very relaxing game. And especially if things are going well enough that I don't see why I should stop. And besides, I'm only uploading this game, just like every other game, once per week. Not like I'm uh, flooding your uh, subscription uh, section with videos. 600. I've got so many tools. But I'm very reluctant on selling my tools. So 750. 6 times 150. Should be 900, I believe. 9. Because so I think I've got a third blacksmith built somewhere. But if not, then oh well. Let's see, what do you have? 3000 venison. And 1000 ale. Look at that, 17,000 units that I can use. So we'll do 2,000 peaches, we'll do 2,000 berries, we'll do 2,000 cherries, 2,000 plum, and then 1,000 bean, 1,000 uh, thousand, thousand cabbage, 1,000 mushrooms, Thousand corn, a thousand mouton, and twenty nine hundred fish. Look at that. Reserve of food is low. I don't think so. We got plenty of food. Plenty of food. Uh, I think it's time to... Let's see how many families and houses we have. Enough for now. As you can see, the longer you play, the more amount of nomads you're gonna get per time. We started with like... 11 or, or 14 or so, and now it's already past 60. So we'll demolish these houses and upgrade them to stone. That's a fishing dock, that's a blacksmith. Did I only build two extra blacksmiths? I thought three. Ah, I did. Alright. One, two, and three. Okay. Well, this is still going very, very well. Now the trader comes by. But I've got half a mind to start construction on these two uh, trading outposts as well. Well, for now I won't. What do you bring? Iron, logs, firewood and wool. I'm running a little low on logs though. So, we'll do... Twenty. Just the logs. And 
that was childbirth and just old age. More laborers. Look at that. I'm gonna quickly take a sip of my drink. As it's already been an hour. Alright, well, <laughs> in that case. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna be ending it off here today. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't done that. It helps out a great deal. I'm the one with many voices. I thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.